Hey everybody, welcome back to the guest house. I hope you're all doing well. In today's episode, we're going to be replacing the stock AGM batteries with a new lithium. Stay tuned. Hey there. So I see you got something new for the RV. I did. Well, what is it? I got a new battery. You got a new battery? Yay. All right, so obvious questions. Who makes the new battery? It's made by Big Battery. How big is it? It's a 228 amp hour seal. It's called the seal. What makes this so special? Because it's sealed. That's why they call it a seal. <laughs> because it is um, perfectly sealed. It's marine grade. It's stainless steel. And it's got an interior rubber seal system. So it's completely water resistant. It's meant for boats, marine grade stuff. So. Awesome. That's why I figured this would be a good location for it. That is really awesome. So where are you going to put it? Um, up front where the other battery is. Okay. We'll see how that works out, right? Well, time will tell. That's my plan. All right. But we'll see. You have plan B, right? Plan B is yes. Okay. <laughs> good. I can't wait to see it. Me either. So I'll just do this first, a disclaimer. I have a plan. It may or may not work, but I'm going to give it a shot. So the previous Airstream we had, I put the battery in this compartment here. So it was well insulated, no water could get to it. But what I want to try to do now is I want to put the battery in the battery box and replace the two AGM batteries in here. Um, I did some measurements. In theory, it fits. So time's going to tell. Anyway, here's what the 12 volt seal looks like. Um, it looks like most of the other products, they're all, they're all max. 228 amp hours um, it's got the uh, Anderson plug which I absolutely love um, it has a display here right pretty standard but what you can do is you can remove it and this unplugs and inside there it's completely water sealed you can buy an extension cable and you can move this display inside your Airstream or wherever you've got it so it's completely sealed in theory, it's going to fit, but I also have to fit in this other product. So I've got the uh, 100 amp main fuse. I've got the Victron 500 amp shunt, smart shunt. I've got some wires to put in there. So fingers crossed that it's going to work, but I have a backup plan. If it doesn't work, I'm going to go ahead and put it in here like I did with my original one. Either way, I'm going to make this work. All right, as you can see. The batteries are gone. Look at that. Lots of space. Lots of extra wires. I'm not sure where they go. No, just kidding. <laughs> so here's the uh, batteries. These are like cheap, cheap, cheap. They put in the cheapest EGM batteries they can. However, I'm not complaining. There was something in there. They could have sent me lead acid. So now I'm going to have to put the phone down and see if I can figure out how I'm going to fit that into here and make it work with all the other stuff I have to put in. Stay tuned. So there was one issue I had to fix first before I tried to put the battery in. The uh, solar charge port, the external one, um, was riveted in there so there were rivets sticking about a quarter of an inch inside the box. I didn't want that. I didn't want rivets sticking out to scratch anything. So what I did was I'm a big fan of magnets. So I put two 40 pound magnets on this. So now I don't have to drill holes or anything. I can just do, I can mount it wherever I want. I can mount it right back down there. Out of sight, out of mind. I can move it wherever I want. Oh, it's really hard. There we go. Anyway, that's solved. Now let's get the battery in. Well, as you can see, it fits. Yay. I'm super happy about that. Plenty of room. Um, I think this position is going to work out best. Um, remember how I said I like magnets? So the bars for your negative and positive. I've got, these are 240 pounds, so these are 80 pounds of strength. So I can mount it. Yeah, that's solid. Both sides, I don't have to drill any holes. It can't go anywhere. So now I'm going to start hooking up the wires, except for the main battery. I'm going to get everything um, put in all these negative and positive. The one thing I'm waiting for is 
I'm supposed to be getting a package from Amazon because this is the Smart Shunt from Victron, the 500 amp one. This needs to go in direct line first on the negative terminal. So that means I'm gonna have to put this, and this is electronics. I mean, I'm sure it's probably safe, um, but I've gotta mount this somewhere in here. So I've got a small waterproof box coming that I'm gonna, that I'm gonna mount this into and then tie it into the negative feed of here. So next shot, you should see everything hooked up, hopefully. All right, everyone, good news, it works. Plugged it in, no sparks, no shocks. So I call that a success. So let me just kind of recap of what I did here. So first of all, the main battery is a big battery, 12 volt seal, uh, 228 amp hours, completely watertight. It's meant for marine grade use, so I don't have any worries with that. Um, I've got the 500 amp smart shunt that I put in a waterproof box. And then I've got, I moved the bus bars, the power bus bars over here to give me more room. I've got everything tied into that. Here's your 150 amp main disconnect. So the reason you don't see a main shutoff in here is because I've got this. All I gotta do is pull this plug and it's disconnected from the whole system. So another thing I did too is I added an external, of course I like using magnets. So I've got a 50 amp Anderson quick connector that I can leave outside and it's protected, it's got a cover on it. I can use that when I use my macerator or my Parkit 360 to power everything. I've got the 100 amp main fuse, you have to have that. Um, over on the other side, I've also got the RV external input. Um, I've put foam all around it. It doesn't move. Actually, um, I have taken this for a trip last weekend. No issues whatsoever. It is just rock solid. So I'm pretty happy with this. So we're going to be putting this new system to test in about two weeks at an event called the Urbana Oyster Festival in Virginia. It's a great time. We're going to be four days of boondocking. No hookups, no nothing, and I'm sure this is going to work just fine. I'm pretty happy with it. If you saw one of our previous videos with the other model that we had, we did the same thing. Different size battery, but we did the same thing. Everything works. Don't be afraid to try stuff, um, but if you're not comfortable working with electrical, by all means, don't do it. Have somebody else do it. I don't mind trying because, for me, it's the best way to learn. So it was a good time. So anyway, if you guys like this video, as usual, you know, Give us the thumbs up, ring the bell, you'll get the notifications. And if you haven't subscribed, you absolutely have to. We need some subscribers. We haven't made any videos in several months, so we're getting back into it now. So we need your support. If you have any comments, leave them below. I'll leave some links for some of the equipment that I used in case you guys are inter interested in seeing what it's all about and how much it costs. Of course, most everything's on Amazon. That's my favorite. Anyway, see you guys. Thanks for being our guest.